Good evening, everyone. System Chalk here with the 157th episode of Book of Hours, our first run through YouTube, uh, playing as the artist. Just finishing off an all-nighter with the uh, arts of glass blowing and vessel crafting. We are all vessels. Let us contain only what will grace us when the light shines through. So uh, I, one of the first things I want to do is just see what my chances are in terms of the sevenfold slaying of the seven coiled. And for that, I'm actually going to start a new sheet on my notepad. Okay, so... Um, this first one's just going to be to see what my chances are in terms of leveling uh, or of reading a text like that is. So we need 16 edge. Right now my best bet is sickle and eclipse by actually a pretty wide margin. Um, if I take a look at... Oh, hang on. Should definitely move Tradisma Hyra somewhere else. Um, but yeah, if my next best is Rural Contemplations and Edicts Marshall. Okay. So we've got uh, nine edge to work with at the start. Now my best bet would be Arab otherwise, um, because metal is to forge, our regular Arab is to grail. And I don't believe any of the other ones have uh, edge. So we can add two there. So that brings us up to 11. So that brings us our element of the soul and our, um, uh, and our skill. The last two that I would need for this would be the memory and the uh, tool. Now, on its own, as far as tools go, the Kukerbit Barrette will give me one. So that brings me up to 12. So then the question is, well, what about a, um, a four-edge memory? That's not too difficult to find, I think. Um, if I remember correctly... Okay, yeah, so basically there's the winning move, but then there's also the invincible audacity. And actually, I think probably what's a little more interesting for me to investigate here is do I have a chance of being able to generate those? Okay, so we've got a serpent milk there. Uh, I can't imagine Edict's Marshal would be... Um, would get me what I need. Uh, Auroral Contemplation seems debatable, so we can get a winning move with 10 edge and a memory. We're at 7 right now. Um, I can add a second memory, so the most that I could bring towards the winning move would be... Actually, we just take the... Oh, we can't take the old wound. Although I could bring in the Wormwood Dream. You know, I don't feel super comfortable about it, but it's not completely out of the question, too. If I were to do something like the Arab Sickle and Eclipse. Uh, this one's in Fusine, right? Yeah. So if I added the Wormwood Dream, we're at 14 of 16. And then we had the breath. Now, you know what? I don't I don't need to get too clever with this. Um, I think a good old-fashioned generate some edge memories and see where we're at. So if I put an edge two memory inside, um, we are at 14 of 16. So like not it's not the best um it's not the best shot that I have but I definitely have a better idea in terms of where I'll be. So yeah, we're going to I think we're going to risk it with um with our edge memories now. I got to remember which one gives me my best edge. Or maybe I just do a little bit of everything. Um let's go Indignities. We'll take Indignities and Fear. That's going to be sort of the the seeding amount, and then we um, we move on from there. 
Okay, I've already mastered this, but I could reread it and perhaps recall a memory. Also, do I want to be reading that one? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, now, how about this question of... Um, the various rooms. So let's take a look at Mr. Kill. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Mr. Kill starts with two winter. Then we can give him two from Wist. And we can give him up to six from Wor Wormwood Dream. I think of four from Solomon's preparation. So that's two, four, ten, fourteen. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I guess we get. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I have no idea what happened just uh, getting my laundry, but apparently I'm sneezy and coffee and malady. Afflicted. Uh, okay, so then we add the wood. And we get him up to 15, which I think is the highest that we would need to deal with. At, at which point I don't even need to worry about um, food or anything like that. Uh, it's a bit funny, but I, I'm i not opposed to doing it this way. And I actually kind of like to use the crystallized chamber, but the fact that I'm able to get the fluttering crypt taken care of pushes me a little bit more towards that. So, uh, what I'm going to do here, we'll open up the crypt at the end of the day, but rather than bring in Mrs. Kill, we're going to bring in Mr. Kill. So Mr. Kill always enjoys a chance to catch up with me. If you don't choose a topic, Mr. Kill will offer help as a friend. Mr. Kill can always spare a few hours to help a friend. Okay, so at the Sweet Bones, I'm going to use... Uh, I think metal might be the right call. Well, metal has uh, edge, so I might want to well, might want to test that. So the moor wants uh, heart, rose, and scale. Heart, moon, and rose. Rose, scale, and sky. So there's no, there really isn't an obvious element of the soul for me to give up. I'm gonna use core in this case just because it's one that I can, uh, it, it's one that I have more than one of, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna dedicate the day to using core for the manual labor, let's say. There's not much work on offer in Brandkrug, but I can find sixpence worth of odd jobs. Of course, we don't know what the weather is today yet too, so another rainy day. <clears throat> Mr. Kill can always spare a few hours to help a friend. Coffin maker's assistants, a tamer of trees, a worker of woods, a consigner of cadavers. He has also been known to try his hand very diffidently at poetry. Okay, so let's get the basics out of the way. Um, we'll talk to him about Wist. We'll watch for what lies ahead, boosts Winter and Lantern. And the skill is now level 6. Its power aspects have also increased. So glass blowing and vessel crafting. We are all vessels. Let us contain only what will grace us when the light shines through. And I think what I might do here is I might take the money that I've earned from the manual labor. I'll use that to restore the heart. Uh, sorry, the core, but also the shaft. Um, and then I can put something on the cycle too. Now, I seem to have misaligned a few of my... Um, a few of my skills. So weaving and not working will move back as will strings and songs. Okay. Um, I'm not quite ready to give up one of the Arab yet. I need to think a little bit about what I want to do with the rest of the day, but I also don't think there's a major rush for me to do some of these things. So 
the goal is going to be to open up the fluttering crypt tonight for sure. Uh, the rest is a little bit more open. I've carried a memory like a flambeau safe through the mazes of night. This is also why I'm not bothering to restore things like the earth sign and such. I may have some other plans for today. Should be getting to the end of the edge lessons too. My assistant and I will be prudent. All right, next up, Wormwood Dream. So I'm kind of this is a sort of an early burning the boats moment, but I'm I'm okay with it. I know I know this is what I want to do, so I can discuss a memory with my assistant. This will use up the memory, but boost the assistant's abilities for the rest of the day. I didn't get this the usual way. I got this from Dr. Peel. Um, but I mean, these things exist to be used, right? In this case, getting a level 15 winter room opened is a perfectly reasonable way to use the Wormwood Dream. If I was, you know, if I was using it on, say, something like the Crystallized Chamber without a plan on how to open this, open this one, I'd maybe feel a little more uh, conscious about it just because I'm going to be giving up a couple of elements of the soul to be able to restore it. This one is uh, a pretty easy, an easy call to make. Those indignities perpetrated by the deceitful fraternity of Oblivious. It is not clear whether CROD, who is identified only by his initials, was in fact an initiate of the Oblivious Order of Mortal Adepts. He wrote in the 16th century after the Order, if he is to be believed, had passed the height of its power. 58. That they did claim the inherit uh, sorry, that they did claim inheritance from the traditions of the House of Leith, but that they have disregarded both its most sacred and its most beautiful ceremonies where they are not found convenient. 59. 71. The glass finger toxin is no mere assassin's convenience for the oblividiates to confine to the disposal of their enemies. It has higher uses. Certainly it is a great matter of winter, but I have already outlined the technique by which it might be fitted for its ultimate destiny. So the contradiction is worth two edge. As I used to say in my youth, the day is done and so am I, but I've earned my pay. So we'll start by restoring the core. The spring and the landlady has served me a slice of her stargazy pie with the pilkered heads poking cheekily through the hot crust. Exorcism for Girls, simple but forceful techniques for rousting unbefitting spirits, written in a straightforward and colorful language. Uh, sorry, written in straightforward and colorful language. Blake seems uncertain at points whether the techniques are intended for use by or on girls. She clearly regards children as a nuisance. Thiers' advice on the shapeless wood things known as raw prophets is typically practical. One, discourage them with buckets of water to as close as possible to freezing and with the smoke of dried lemongrass. Two, under no circumstances, kiss them or receive kisses from them. Three, an effective formula is provided for laundering clothes stained with profit slime. So fear is only worth one edge. I want to keep that in mind for future readings, but let's see what we can work with. So we'll take uh, Ava's desk as usual. Now, if I want to guarantee myself victory, I could just use the perinculate, but my feeling here is that uh, if I do that, I am signing myself up for the trouble of um, I'm signing myself up sort of for the trouble of regenerating it whereas here all that I'm really doing is um, you know potentially having to read the book a second time on another day so it, to me it seems that the loss of the Arab is only well I guess the Arab and the other uh, memories that I generated so I should maybe reconsider <clears throat> my priorities on that but yeah in this case I'm just going to say We'll take a chance. I mean, it's not perfect. I might actually want to generate another contradiction at this point. Um, but uh, I, I'm willing to sort of take a, take a chance on this one. So perhaps you've provided edge, but not enough to match mystery edge. If you're lucky, you might still succeed. So we'll lock that in. But just as an insurance policy, I think I'm going to get myself a second... Um, I'm going to get myself a second... contradiction. So the fear is more or less unused, but that's not 
too... I don't think that's too bad. All right, memories don't last long outside books, but it's made the difference for the day. So he's up to 10. So we'll give him Solomon's preparation now. I should have a couple batches of those. Just a couple. I can offer my assistants something to drink. This will increase their aspects. They'll also be glad of the refreshment. So, of course, Mr. Kill hasn't been generating any memories for us yet, but that's kind of by design. I'm, I'm still working on... Uh, Still working on things. And then the last one will be the Ublanc. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to set aside some elements of the soul for, you know, going out to the moor and such, just so that I can restore some of the, the materials that I lost by doing this expedition. But again, it's not a, um, it's not a super high priority. It's more of a nice to have. Now, I don't think I have a Ublanc in here anymore. I think it's all upstairs. Yeah, I should actually note that I've got a lot of Hawthorne. But... All right, additional supplies. And actually, let's just take a second here. I want to make sure that I'm not... Um... So we've covered that. We've covered that. We've covered that. This we haven't. We haven't technically haven't done sustenance. So I suppose the question I would ask here, like if I were to go under sustenance and I took a look inside uh, this area here, um, what would I use for winter? And as you can see, there's like a lot of drinks which have already been covered. So if I added that here, each assistant can only benefit from one in a day. You may be able to find or craft more powerful beverages another time. I'm not quite ready to give up the pale marrow yet. Um, so it would seem to me like it's really just a question of um, of lumber at this point. A wood sacred to the Malachite, who is also called the Ringyu, but also the tree that the dead pass in the dark. Additional supplies. I can offer my assistant any suitable timber I have lying around. This will increase their aspects. They'll keep any of the wood that's left over. So again, that's the 15 winter we were looking for. We'll now direct our attention towards... Ava's desk, just to make sure that we have what we need to get the uh, get the work done. I'll need a break to restore the elements of the soul, but again, one thing at a time. Okay, so it wants stuff, also things, a memory, and an epiphany. So I don't think the epiphany will help me. Better now. De Oris, volume uh, book three. In Latin, a 19th century reprint by the indefatigable Nathaniel Darcy Evers of a 14th century Latin translation of a 4th century work. This is usually described as the third volume of De Oris, but Darcy Evers' foreword argues persuasively that it's a substantial reworking by the original author. The lionsmith makes monsters, the colonel has his scars, but the De Oris now insists that neither can truly defeat the other that they must at some level understand these limits in their strategies, and that their enmity is the eternal engine of the world. So what I might try to do here, depending on the order of things, I might actually try to use the fear and maybe the... or Sorry. Got the cucurbit barrette. But what else would I use as an edge tool? I guess the saw. Well, I have a second barrette, actually. Anyway, we'll see what happens in 10 seconds. Oh, hang on. to restore the shaft. Again, it's spring and the landlady has served me a slice of her stargazy pie with the pilkered heads poking cheekily through the hot crust. So we'll see what the... Uh, we'll see what comes up in 10 seconds. If it's stuff, also things, I'll probably use... fear. Okay, it wants the memory. Yeah, let's... we don't need to complicate it. Let it clutter up their shelves. This has improved their aspects appro appropriately. So now we can talk with Mr. Kill because, again, we have everything that we need to be able to open up the fluttering crypt. Uh, what I may want to do is consider whatever will allow me to improve Disciplines of the Scar. That one's actually not that hard because Disciplines of the Scar is just level one for me right now, which is why I'm not too worried about that fear being used. I'm 
Okay, and we got a fear for our trouble. <laughs> the sevenfold slaying of the seven coiled, an account of the destruction of a primeval hour, a god who was stone. There are 12 verses. In the first, an ascendant hour, identified as the scarred one, enumerates his justifications for destroying the seven coiled, its appetites, its growth, its enmity to humanity. In the second, a priestess puts out his eyes and scars his skin to protect him against the seven coiled's magics. In each of the next seven verses, he destroys one aspect of the seven coiled. In the tenth verse, the scarred one bathes his priestess patron in the blood of the seven coiled to lend her power. In the eleventh, they assault the temple behind the world, entering it by force. In the twelfth, they swear a tripartite oath to protect their ancestors, their descendants, and themselves. So we already know that this will give us fear. So three disciplines of the scar. There's a fear to work with. So disciplines of the scar is a combination of edge and uh, lantern. Neither of these really help us. So I suppose the thing that I would want to look at here, if I wanted to level this up, we've got metal, we've got fast, and we've got Arab. And I can actually already get an improvement to uh, Disciplines of the Scar right now. So let's... I'll jump it up the three to begin with. So that's one to two. This is two to three, and then we'll eventually be three to four. So we can lock this in right away at the start. So the remaining question is, if I'm going to use these two, so I would need two and then three, so a total of five. One, two, three, four. So I've got four of the five that I need to um, to level this up to the relevant level. Well, I'm actually restoring uh, an element of the soul as well. So my original intention was definitely going to go out into the wilderness to try and find some ingredients, but I think in this case here, using Mr. Kill much like I do Mrs. Kill is probably the more sensible the much more sensible path in this case. And what I'll do is maybe as I start getting things that have edge aspect, I'll start working out a few more of the... Like, I'll take the elements out and I'll replace them with other things. So, Mr. Skill, Kill, Ryan Spry, doesn't mind stopping for a gossip. So the idea here would be is if I get something like a, a fear from Mr. Kill, what I'll do there is I'll... Uh, I'll maybe take an element of the soul and I'll use it for something else, and then we'll just slowly, slowly file things uh, in and out. Okay, better now. The skill is now level 2. Its power aspects have also increased. In fact, there's one other thing that I can do here. So if I earn some money with the core... Manual labor, there's not much work on offer in Brand Crude, but I can find sixpence worth of odd jobs. So that's going to take me to the afternoon. Uh, nuts. Actually, I did this a little differently than what I wanted, but we can still make this work. Okay, so here's, a, here's another way that I'm thinking about this. Um, I basically just wanted to earn a little bit of money to restore some of these elements of the soul. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting a contradiction. And I think I'm also going to use the shop to earn the sun's weakness, because the sun's weakness will give me uh, some lantern, which I can apply to Disciplines of the Scar. But more importantly, it's something that I can keep overnight. So the idea here is that if Mr. Kill gets something like a fear, what I can do is I can file that in with, say, the um, the contradiction, and at that point I can just turn that into um, I can turn that into another level of disciplines of the scar. 
Okay, stolen secret doesn't really help me. That's a nice one to get, but just because it's rare, but. And if it doesn't turn out, like it doesn't turn out, I'm also keeping uh, the old wound as an outside option when the time comes. But again, I think I'm running the risk of spreading myself too thin. So I'm not expecting Disciplines of the Scar to go any higher than uh, where it currently is. But if we, you know, if we get there, it's a nice to have, let's say. Okay, another gossip. Dead men don't tell no bloody tales. We listen. Should be hearing the um, hurry up with your choices sound a little bit. So, I guess now I need to make some decisions about how I'm going to spend the rest of the day. So, the Sun Disfigured, a scroll of anthropoderm parchment written in the golden ink called Uzalt. Um, the author of the text calls herself the Elagabline. Sometimes she seems to be Sunset Celia, the Watchman's name. Sometimes she seems to be Lady Tryphon, the Grail Long. It is unclear whether these are separate entities or the same person. It may be unclear even to the writer. The flaws in the Sun's plan are elucidated. The Sun's plan itself is never entirely clear, but it is a project of some kind to enter, possess, or surrender to the glory. The pure light above the Mansus. This book suggests ways in which that plan might fail. So there's the sun's weakness. The sun's sins and the sun's scars are our salvation. There are histories where they will trap us, prevent us from rising to eternity. So I'll just double check here. If I go to the violet chamber, I can take a uh, knock, moth, heart, or grail. But none of that is relevant for contradiction, something uncomfortable. As the sun is coarse, Joel of the Bridge, a retired soldier and sometimes tollkeeper, wrote this epic poem about Alexander's famously inexplicable decision at Issus to withdraw from the war with the Achaemenids and his subsequent return to Macedonia. Alexander meets at Issus, uh, at Issus with Darius, king of kings, for three days and three nights. On the first day, the two men trade threats. On the second, promises. On the third, secrets. Darius tells Alexander something so shattering that he retires to his tent to consider matters of strength and matters of mastery. At dawn on the fourth day, Alexander announces, The sun has his course upon which he returns, and so do I. He returns to Macedonia, executing two of his captains when they dispute his decision. He brings with him the names of, the bi of a blind god and a rite of sacred betrayal. For, Joel opines, without betrayal there would be an end to war. So we can't keep the contradiction overnight. Um... Now, here's, there's a few ways that I'm thinking about this. So if I want, I can actually translate this directly into a level up for Disciplines of the Scar, at which point I would say, you know, use one of these elements of the soul to bring back Sun's Weakness, maybe even to bring back the Earth Sign, um, and we call it. We don't, do, we don't do anything in terms of the more or anything like that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'll wait the 10 seconds. I do kind of want to see where things go with... Uh, Mr. Kill. And then from that, I'll decide what I think my best chances are. Okay, so the hindsight doesn't really do anything for us here. I'll still talk with Mr. Kill, um, but here's what I think I'm going to do. Let's go um, Disciplines of the Scar. This at least just gives us the option of um, this gives us the option, you know, of a, of a simple upgrade in the morning. I'm no expert, but I'm no dabbler either. Improve this skill to level three. So I've got three elements of the soul to work with now. Um, one of them I'm going to want to get um, my uh, son's weaknesses back, or son's weakness back. So we'll read the same text. And at this point, um, again, it's a little hard to say what we're going to get. I'll, I'll actually probably split the diff... Now, you know what? Let's at least get the Earth sign taken care of. So we'll go to Nona's desk. So for that, we'll read Raptor the King. 
still make it to the moor. Clamber uh, uh, up into the long reaches of the moors behind the village. Lean into the wind's fluttering fist. If I know what to look for, I might find something among the rocks. The gorse is bright on the land's nape. All right, and that uh, takes us to the end of our time today. So uh, the remaining steps for today really are just a question of getting Mr. Kill to open up the fluttering crypt. I'm definitely not opposed to um, getting a couple more memories out of him. We'll probably keep the stolen secret overnight, but you never know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what becomes available. I basically don't have the option to level up uh, Disciplines of the Scar at this point. It'd take me too long to get an element of the soul back. Oh man, foresight. Okay. Um, you know what? Changed my mind. Rest and refreshment. refreshment. Tuppence will buy me a hearty meal in a quiet place where I can rest and gather my thoughts. It's going to be the same problem as today, where I'm going to lose the Arab for the morning, but I actually think we can have this back in time to level it up. The skill is now level 3. Its power aspects have also increased. So yeah, um, indecisive, but hey, <laughs> this, is, this is why I got all those... Uh, why I got all that money. Um, but yeah, so we are going to level up uh, Disciplines of the Scar, which will mean I actually have quite a bit to think about in terms of the different texts that I'm reading, but all of that will be handled uh, in a future episode. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Take care.